What is up everyone, I'm Carlos and we're Emily Sauce, and it's a continuation of our What is Special, What if Goku traveled to different universes. This time, Goku's gonna be traveling to the Attack on Titan universe, but before we get into the what if, we'd like to thank y'all so much for all the support we've been getting so far, and for making it possible for us to reach 300 subscribers. And it's still just, it's still just crazy to us how it just happened so quickly, but thank you. And also in this video, Comment down below on what other universe you would like to send Goku to next, and the universe with the most requests will be the next part. Now let's get on with the what if. After Goku's adventure in the One Piece universe, he takes a little break because of what he went through and hopes that the Straw Hats are okay. After some time, Goku goes to Whis and tells him that he's ready to go to another universe. But before he chooses one, he asks Whis if he can have another ability back and Whis says sure. Goku asks for his Ki Blast, and Whis gives it to him. Goku is not ready and is excited for what the next universe will have for him. He picks one, but Whis tries to stop him and wants to know if he's taking any Sensu Beans with him or even the Nimbus Cloud, but it was too late, and Goku teleports on top of a house and looks around to see an enormous wall surrounding the area he's in. He exposes a bit when suddenly a huge ray of lightning appears and a huge head is peeking over the wall. Goku is interested in the giant and flies towards it to get a better look, but before he gets close enough, it disappears. Goku is confused and wonders where it went, but then he sees a group of people on top of the wall and goes to ask them to see if they know what the thing is or where it went. Goku lands on top of the wall and goes up to them and asks what happened and notices that they're holding swords and asks if they killed the monster. The scouts are wondering who this guy is, wearing bright orange clothes, and when did he get up here. Luckily, they were too distracted with the Colossal Titan suddenly appearing or they would have been noticed Goku flying towards them and they would have been freaking out seeing a human flying. They all question who Goku is and when did he get up here. Goku introduces himself as Son Goku and he says that he flew up here. The scouts are confused and think they misheard him and asked for him to for reassurance that he actually said that he flew up here, and Goku says he did as he shows them. They all freak out and don't know what to even say, or even they even just try to keep their distance away from Goku, since he's flying. Goku's a bit surprised, thinking that they would have had such a huge reaction to him flying, since he thought they were used to seeing supernatural things, since they seemed pretty confident in fighting the giant from before. The scouts aren't used to seeing the situation, but then Eren goes up to the Goku and questions him on a couple of things, like how he can fly and where he came from. Goku responds saying that he's from an island far away and he learned how to fly there and says that he's a pretty common thing that people do over there. Goku is hoping that Eren as well as the other scouts believe this since Whis told him not to clarify that he's from another universe. Eren is a bit skeptical of this and tries to keep his distance from Goku. Goku then asks about the monster that disappeared and wants to know what it was. Eren explains to him that it was a titan. Giant monsters that eat humans. Goku asks if, it ki if he killed it, and Eren says no, that it disappeared before he could slice the nape. Goku took notice that he said that he was going for the nape and asked if it was his weakness or something like that. Eren says yes, and the only way to kill a titan is to slice its nape. Goku asks if there are other Titans like that, and Eren says that he doesn't know, but he thinks that all the Titans he's seen weren't like that one. Goku asks about the thing Eren is wearing around his waist, and Eren explains that it's his 3D maneuvering gear, and it's what allows him to take out all the Titans. Goku is fascinated by his equipment, and eagerly asks if he can use it, but Eren says no, since he doesn't trust Goku, and he also said that he doesn't even need it since he can already fly to get high enough to reach the Titan's nape. Plus, all Goku needs now is just a sword, and he'll be able to do exactly what the scouts are capable of. Goku's a bit disappointed about that, but wants to ask more questions when Connie finally manages to calm himself down from everything that happened, and tells everyone that there has been a breach in the wall, and says that it might have been the Colossal Titan. Another scout arrives on top of the wall and tells Eren and the rest of the scouts to head to their headquarters. He notices Goku and asks who he is and what he's doing up here, but before Goku could respond, the scout says forget it as the Eren and the other scouts head towards HQ. Everyone leaves and Goku wonders what's happening, but then wonders if there might be more titans out there, 
and is eager to fight them. He sees in the distance a lot of titans heading towards his way, and Goku gets closer to them, charging up a Kamehameha. He remembers their weakness, and charges up the blast and flies behind one titan as he shoots the Kamehameha at it, erasing most of his upper body with the blast. The titan collapses to the ground, and Goku thinks he may have overdone it a little, when suddenly he's grabbed by another titan, taller than the one before, and eats Goku. The Goku shoots a key blast while inside the titan's mouth, and erases the head completely, then finishes killing the titan with a Kamehameha. Goku says to himself that he should be more careful, and flies much higher so he won't be eaten again. A little time passes, and Goku's ready to fight more of the titans, when suddenly, the one, was he, the one he was about to fight gets shot by a cannonball. Goku wonders what's going on, and sees that cannonballs are being shot from the wall. A lot of the titans are being shot down, but aren't staying down, as the cannons fail to hit their nape, but they fail to kill them, and are only able to stun them. Goku manages to catch the attention of some of the titans, but not all, and the rest of the titans head towards the hole in the wall. There aren't many titans like there were in the anime, but they still manage to breach inside the wall and are causing a havoc all around. Goku leaves the titans in the forest of giant trees so he can rest there without having to worry about the titans grabbing him. Goku thinks to himself that it should have been better to have sensor beats with him, or even have the Nimbus so he can rest and also not be sitting in one place. Goku is getting hungry and says to himself that he has to find some food, but needs to take care of the titans he brought, so he charges one more Kamehameha and erases most of the titans. There are still some left, but Goku is too hungry and needs to find some food immediately. He flies towards the wall and hopes to find some food. He sees the area he was in and senses a familiar energy and sees Eren as well as some other scouts going towards the titans that enter the wall. Goku wants to help, but he really needs to eat and doesn't have the energy to take out any more titans. Goku looks around for food and finds some markets that were selling bread and since the people that own these small markets fled in panic due to the attack, Goku doesn't worry about paying them and takes all the bread for free. Even though it was just bread and it wasn't a lot, Goku says it'll have to do when the titans are taken care of so he can find more food. Goku goes to where he saw Eren and tries to find him. He also takes out some of the titans on his way there. He tries to sense Eren's energy, but it seems like it's too weak. Goku takes out more of the titans when suddenly he hears a scream from afar. Goku thinks someone might be in trouble and goes to look for them. Goku sees a blonde kid screaming in front of a bearded titan, then the titan tries to eat Armin, but Goku saves him. Goku takes Armin high on the rooftops, where titans can't reach him, and asks if he's okay and what happened. But Armin is too traumatized from seeing his friend die. He doesn't even question who Goku is, and doesn't comment how he just flew to get him up high on the rooftop of a building. Goku tries to talk to Armin and ask if he has seen someone named Eren, and tries to explain that Eren might have been in their group when they were going to attack the titans. But the only word Armin heard from Goku was Eren, and tries to tell him everything that happened. However, the only word Armin can say is Eren as he repeats it over and over again, and begins to break down in tears. Goku definitely knows that something has happened to Eren, and tries to sense his energy, but he can't. Goku doesn't lose hope, and looks around to see if he can at least sense something, when suddenly he does, and he looks at the titan that almost ate Armin. Goku's a bit confused, but he goes closer to the titan, and he's certain that that's Eren's energy, but it's weaker when suddenly his energy starts increasing as a hand pops out of the titan's mouth. Goku's confused on what's going on when seeing an arm pop out of the titan and isn't sure what to make out of it when suddenly that bearded titan collapses and the titan emerges from inside as it lets out an enormous roar. Goku doesn't sense Eren's energy in the bearded titan anymore, but rather he senses it in the nape of the titan that appeared, and before he can realize that that's Eren, the titan swings at him, and but Goku dodges it. Goku flies higher so the titan can't reach him, and wants to figure out a way to check if Eren really is inside the titan. Before Goku can think of a plan, the titan walks away from him, and starts killing another smaller titan. At this point, Goku thinks that Eren must be in that titan, and might be controlling it because Goku senses Eren's energy in the nape of the titan, not in the stomach, and if Eren did get eaten, he wouldn't be in the nape. Goku is trying to think of ways to get Eren out of there, but before he can think of anything, the titan runs away, attacking more titans, and going on a rampage. Goku follows the titan as it's rampaging all over the place, killing every titan in its way. The titan faces off against another titan, but Goku sees someone caught in the middle of it, as she looks hopeless. Goku quickly goes towards her, before she can get attacked by the titan, and picks her up and takes her to the rooftops. 
She's shocked that someone flew her up to a building without using 3D maneuvering gear and questions who Goku is and how did he fly up here, but before Goku could explain, Eren's Titan punches the other Titan that was there and repeatedly stomps on him until it dies, and Mikasa is shocked that the Titan attacked another Titan before covering her ears when Eren's Titan lets out a powerful roar. Goku tries to talk to Mikasa and asks if she's okay, and before Mikasa could respond, Armin and Connie show up and Connie recognizes Goku. Goku also recognizes Connie and knows he was with Eren and tells him that Eren might be in that Titan. Connie says that's crazy and asks how he knows Eren. It's in that Titan and why is the Titan killing another Titan? Mikasa and Armin are also confused and ask who Goku is. Goku tries to explain everything to them when suddenly Eren's Titan takes out another Titan right in front of them and this shocks both Connie and Armin. Eren's Titan then runs towards where the rest of the scouts are at, fighting more Titans and Goku leaves Mikasa, Armin and Connie to go follow Eren. Eren is heading towards the scouts headquarters to take out more Titans and Goku follows right behind them. Goku tries to catch the attention of Eren but he just ignores him as he jumps up to a building and punches two titans that are on top of a building. Goku also tries to help Eren take out some of the titans, and Jean, as well as the other scouts, are in disbelief that a human is flying and shooting beams at titans. And while this is happening, Mikasa, Armin, and Connie arrive at headquarters, where they see Jean and the rest of the scouts and tell everyone that they can use Goku and Eren's titan to help them take out the titans. And they also say that Eren might be the one controlling the titan. Even though it might not be true, it's still a possibility. Jean tells them that that's crazy, and how they're acting like any of this is normal, and how Eren could control the Titan. But Mikasa says that it's a good option to let them fight, since Eren's Titan is only focusing on killing Titans, not people, and Goku rescued her from a Titan. Armin also jumps in the conversation, and reveals that Goku also rescued him from the Titan that ate Eren. Mikasa states that it'd be best if they just let Goku and Eren kill some Titans, and everyone agrees with this plan, and now focus on taking back the gas room, and Armin comes up with a plan for that, and they all head downstairs to retake it. While the scouts are doing that, Eren continues to go on a rampage, killing every titan he sees, and Goku also kills more titans, but starts to get hungry again, and doesn't think there is any more food around here. Goku wants to ask the scouts for food, but before he can go, he sees Eren having trouble with other titans that are ganging up on him, and he flies towards him to help out. Goku managed to kill most of the titans that were attacking Eren, but one of them managed to bite Eren's arm off, however, it was killed right after by Eren, since that was the last titan attacking him. Goku tries to catch the attention of Eren again, but this time Eren looks tired, and Goku thinks he, can, he can't fight anymore, so Goku tries to see if he can pull Eren's body out of the titan's nape. Goku doesn't have a safe way in taking Eren's body out, since his Ki Blast could kill Eren. Goku knows that the scouts are using blades to kill the titans, and looks around for one, so he can safely cut Eren out of the titan's body. Goku manages to find a broken blade that was dropped by one of the scouts, and decides to use that. But when he goes back to Eren, Eren is fighting more titans, and there are too many for him to handle, and it seems like he might die. But Goku quickly rushes towards him, and kills the titans attacking Eren with a Kamehameha, and starts cutting the nape of the titan body. Goku finds Eren's human body inside the titan, and pulls him out, and takes him to the rooftops. Goku wants to wait for Eren to wake up, but he's too tired and hungry, so he leaves Eren on the rooftop of a high building, so Titans won't be able to get him, and goes to find food. Goku flies past the district in the search for food, and it takes him a while, till he finds a village, and goes around asking if they have anything to eat. Luckily, the villagers were really nice, and didn't see Goku when he was flying, or else they would have been freaking out. They give Goku some bread, and Goku keeps asking for seconds, and the villagers are in shock on how much Goku eats, and once Goku ate a good amount of food, he flies back to get Eren, and the villagers are in fear that a human just flew away. It took a while, but Goku is back to where he left Eren, but he isn't there, and he looks around but can't find him. He tries to sense his energy and manages to find it, but it's too far. He flies towards Eren's location, and it takes him quite a while to get there, but once he arrives, he hears an explosion and goes to check it out. Goku flies on top of the wall to see what the explosion was and sees a giant body that looks like it belongs to a titan and also sees that Armin is standing in front of the other scouts. Goku isn't sure what's going on, but then he sees an old man talking with someone in the scouts. This old man is Commander Pixis, and he's saying that it'd be best for to use Eren's power to plug a hole in the wall. They all leave and Goku thinks everything is fine, so he goes to look for more food. Goku goes around the area he's in and finds a lot of food to eat until he's full. 
Time passes, and Goku sees Eren as well as Pixis when he explains his plan to all the scouts. Everyone gets ready to commence the plan of taking back Trost, and Goku decides to follow them to see what he can do to help. When the plan starts, there aren't many times around because Goku took out a lot of the Titans before, so the major problem they have to deal with is when Eren attacks Mikasa and not going with the plan at the start. Eren still knocks himself out, but Goku's in there to help. He's on the other side of the wall, killing more Titans, so they can't get close to the wall, and while the scouts are dealing with the Titans that are already inside, everything else goes like it did in the anime, just with less casualties. Eren manages to pick up the boulder and pluck the hole in the wall, and is taken to prison by Captain Levi. Goku doesn't know what's going on, so he just knows that Eren is safe and the mission was successful. So while everything else is happening, Goku takes his time to explore and checks if there are other Titans like Eren. What he means by this is that Goku wants to know if there are other Titans that have a person in their nape, so Goku checks for any Titan like that. And when he doesn't find a Titan like that, he kills it. Goku keeps doing this, killing Titans and exploring the world beyond the walls. Some time passes, and Goku's resting on a tree in the large forest eating some food and regaining some of the energy he lost until he's ready to take out more titans that are waiting for him at the bottom of the tree. Whis talks to Goku and tells him that he has about 10 minutes left before he has to come back to and Goku says alright and decides to kill more titans until he has to head back to his universe. Goku regains all of his energy and kills the titans that were watching him, but then senses a familiar energy and it's Eren and he's with a new squad. Goku heads towards Eren's location but then sees that he's being chased by a huge titan. The female titan chases the squad and Goku tries to catch up before she catches Eren and his squad. But then she falls into a trap set up by the scouts. While the female titan is trapped, she lets out a roar to attract nearby titans, but no titans arrive. Goku kills all the titans near that area and now the female titan doesn't have a plan to escape and then the scouts slice her nape, revealing Annie, but then she starts to crystallize herself and the scouts aren't able to do anything to her. Goku tries to get a better look at what's going on before Whis tells him the time's up and he's sent back to his universe. Unlike Goku's last trip, where he was really worried about the Straw Hats and thought that they might have died, this time, Goku feels alright seeing that the scouts might be okay after dealing with the female titan and thinking that they have might have done everything under control, and is ready to see what the next universe will have for him. Well everyone, that's where we end of this part of the What Is Special. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Consider subscribing and share this video with your friends. And once again, thank you all so much for all the support we've been getting so far and for making it possible for us to reach 300 subscribers. And remember, comment down below in this video on what other universe would you like to send Goku to next, and the universe with the most requests will be the next part. Now, other than that, that's all I have to say, and thank you all for watching. Peace.